All right, guys, this is Max. Welcome to my channel. Thanks for tuning in. Today we have a beautiful model and we're going to work on her on a sideline position. You're going to see the front, you're going to see the back and how to work this chain of muscle. Starting in this case from the glutes, we're going to get into the meat right away because this is where you have most of the muscle. The, the glute muscle is one of the biggest in the in the body and uh, right now I'm working on the glute medius I'm wearing gloves to have uh, a better grip because this is the second massage I give to her the first one was more relaxing and now we are getting into the uh, more interesting technique where we gonna mix some tie so this is a classical um, mobilization of the hips that come from Thai massage and it's, it feels really good and it helps uh, to release all the tension in the sacro, all the tension in the hips and they nominate like I'm doing right now, I'm pulling that nominate down and um, if you want to even stretch a little bit all the, um, the tissue there like uh, the, um, the QL or you can even start working uh, on the ilopsoas, like I do right now, the ilopsoas where you find two centimeter left, two centimeter down into the um, into the hips, and then the iliacus, iliacus muscle, and this technique can be pretty painful. So try to uh, work with uh, with care when you do it. Then uh, I'm going into the sideline, working uh, the um, the latissimus. And um, now you can see some um, some better work uh, with the camera getting closer. Uh, we're gonna work on a sideline about on the foot, on the foot. Try to move that arch around. Try to move the talus. Try to create space into the joint. Uh, try try to liberate the fascia. Create uh, movement uh, into the. Um, front into the stensor and into the flexor of the foot um, I really like this position fantastic to work the front the back of the lower compartment of the legs right now we are working at tibialis anterior starting in the closed position and open it up you can even add some uh, some sliding all the way up into the um, into the uh, knee. Uh, if I forget names, it's because sometimes I think in Spanish or sometimes even in Italian, so I have to translate everything. And um, I can, uh, I got to say that I can be really myself when I do this kind of video. I can't say what I really want to do. So um, most of my uh, most of what I'm going to say is uh, all related to the technique, even if I, I, I could say something else. Um, but, you know, it's better not even to mention it. But anyway, so we are working now on the, on the quadratus, uh, sorry, on the quadriceps. Uh, and uh, that on the rect fem, uh, rectus femoris, really important. Some, most of the time is a muscle that creates a lot of problems in the knee. And it's the first one that after, when you have a problem in the, in the ellipsos, it's the first one to get uh, down the chain and start uh, having, creating trouble. And um, then again, some uh, mobilization of the, um, the hips and trying to, to create a lot of movement and into, the, into the hips. This is a really uh, a technique uh, that allow you to to get deeper into in between uh, the front and the back chain. And here uh, you have a better better vision of what I'm doing and pointing into the TFL and going down. So it's uh, grabbing the TFL, grabbing the QL, moving between the TFL and the QL to create to create space in the lateral line. Again, the same technique, different angle. 
Uh, this technique is from uh, traditional Thai massage and um, I suggest you to, to try uh, with your client and uh, see how they react. They, they will feel that uh, you're doing more work. Maybe you have uh, even a better tips for what you're doing. And here, working on a uh, glute medius, uh, you can't really see, but yeah, I'm, uh, that's what I was doing. And then up into the into the thoracic, try to liberate the latissimus, latissimus that can create uh, around the shoulder, can move uh, uh, the scapula, in uh, abducting the scapula, can uh, create a lot of problem if it's too tight, and a lot of people that do a lot of pull-ups pull have uh, trouble and uh, impingement uh, in, the, in the shoulder caused by the latissimus. The latissimus, we remember, it's an internal rotator of the shoulder, so it can uh, uh, really create that around the shoulder. And now we are putting the, the client in, uh, in a stretch position so we can work on the QL. Here I, I try to look for the, for the sauce, but uh, the camera changed and <laughs> I'm working on the adductor. Adductor work, uh, inner, um, inner fascia uh, that go uh, all the way from the, the base of the, um, of the foot, all the way up, working into the soleus, going into the adductor, adductor longus, and all the other adductors that are around. I'm trying to, to push and create uh, some kind of traction. So what I'm doing is like using the leverage of the of the leg to, to create some movement. It's like when the same work you do in the pinion stretch you do on the hamstring, you can do it in the in the adductor. Definitely this is one of the best position to work the adductor because uh, allow you even to, to turn and to create some kind of rotation into the adductor itself. And you can really point out the different adductor magnus, adductor brevis, you can go into the pectineus. Uh, really great, uh, great position to work the, the adductor. Yeah, I started even repeating myself, but it's okay. We are improvising with, uh, with the mic and trying to talk on top of it. And uh, here we are working on um, on um, well on this extensor of the neck, but precisely we are working on the trapezius uh, and into the levator scap scapula. Levator scapula that is a uh, causing of a lot of headaches, a lot of uh, sometimes torticolis, uh, sometimes is. Uh, um, creating tension addicts. Here we go uh, with some work on the shoulder in a different uh, uh, position. We are moving it. So this technique helps to release the front of the shoulder. I'm asking the client to do the same movement so that I can uh, release that part. It's uh, kind of painful. You can see from the face um, the, the pec minor and the, the pec. Well, pretty tight and you can even see that uh, her uh, trapezius is tight. Now we're going into the um, trapezius, medi uh, trapezius medius and into the um, um, rhomboid. Rhomboid, uh, uh, another muscle that uh, you can find really tight in uh, some, some people and that can create problem uh, in, um, in the extension of the, of the shoulder. So if you have a difficulty in a stand, uh, your, your shoulder can be even a tight uh, uh, rhomboid. Here we are working uh, again into the, um, the sideline position, working on the stensor of the spine. Yes, so we're trying to open, to create space in between the vertebra on the lumbar, starting from L1, going down to L5, uh, and touching the sacro, and uh, even uh, working on the on the thoracic, thoracic, uh, 
and in that round boy that I was mentioning before and maybe you can even touch some uh, lower trap and then you want to add some beautiful movement uh, that allow you to get under the scapula and, and really work uh, the trapezius medius uh, in, a, in a really deep way a lot of people enjoy this process of uh, um, find the trigger point and then um, stopping there for like 10 seconds and, and then release all the tension. Here we go, some movement like a physharmonica. Yeah, I was asking the client to hold on my on my forearm so I could I could work on the on the shoulder. Yeah, here I still try to open up, try to create space uh, in the in the back and into the into the neck, as you can see here. So I'm pressing down the trapezius while I move up into the uh, occipital. Now back again into the front and working that gluteus. It's probably not, it's not the best position to work the gluteus. It's always better to be in the other side. But it's good because it allow you to to have an idea of the kind of work you can do on the glutes, working on the piriformis, working on the 6D rotators. So now the, the client is uh, almost, almost rotated facing down. That allow me to put the sacro in um, With the sacro in this position that allowed me to, to work like a um, with a tight technique and she was feeling the, the attachment of the hamstring there yeah this is a another great way to work the hamstring now we're gonna see all the work starting from the um, from the gastrocnemius all the way up into the hamstring. As I said, this is a really vigorous massage, and that's why it's a sport massage. It's pretty vigorous. Try to, to move all that liquid in, uh, into, the, um, into the body uh, so that the, the, um, the liver and the blood can pump it out. And here's some work on hamstring. So what you're doing is like pin and stretch. But in this position, you can even use uh, the the hips. You're not just using the um, the knee to pin the, the hamstring, but you, you're using the flexion of the hips. So you have even more uh, stretch. Let's call it that way uh, into the muscle. Really great if you have uh, something stubborn. If you have a uh, um, a, a tissue that is uh, has been hurt or is, is you know some scar tissue you that that work can be really powerful and liberate uh, if you have athletes that run runners uh, 100 meters 400 meters most of the time they pull the hamstring and uh, have that tight in there that that kind of technique it's perfect to to release uh, the pain uh, uh, they can have and the tightness now we're gonna work on a on a sideline and um, here's some work on the attachment of the QL, really painful. Yeah, she was suffering, but the uh, bat was really tight. And uh, here's some, uh, some work into the um, stencil all the way up. Well, I think you guys uh, understand the kind of work I'm doing. It's a, it's a mix of uh, deep tissue massage, sport. Uh, I try to get the best technique, guys. 
and uh, show you how to do a beautiful model. I hope you enjoy my my channel. If you enjoy, please uh, uh, put a like or subscribe to my Patreon and uh, let me know that you uh, like what I'm doing. Here's some work uh, into the occiput. So you, you grab the, um, the occiput and the muscle there, the four little muscle there, and you start creating some flexion. And then you can go down into the trap, into the trap medius, uh, all the way into the, depends what level you're working. You can go into the splenius. This feels really good when you grab your client in this way. Uh, it's probably one of the strongest techniques you can do into the occiput and into the trap because you have the gravity that like, is pushing down, it's pulling down the, the skull. In the same time, you're like uh, pressing the, um, the shoulder away. And then here we move into the um, front position, supine position. And you can see some more work into the obliques, little obliques that are under the skull. Some work in, some work of the um, parietal muscle, temporal muscle. Sorry. And uh, we're almost done. We're almost done, guys. Uh, if you like my my channel you will love my patreon we have a lot of models that are from uh, from my from youtube in patreon and they receive massage in uh, underwear so this is the for this for today this is all and i see you soon thank you very much ciao